Hey, welcome. This is Orbit Jewelry. My name is Kim DuPont. I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Hello, hello. Say hello when you pop in. Uh, if you see that red live button, it means you're watching the live. If you no longer see that button, you're watching the replay. You can still claim from the replay. So feel free to shop the replay. I'm just going to get our Facebook page up and running and all the goodies pinned in. Hello, Miss Paula. How are you? How are you? It's Friday. Game night. Let me get this in and pinned in here. So we are streaming both on Facebook as, as well as our mobile app right now. Hello, Susan. How are you? Miss Nicole. You guys have a good day. I'm doing awesome. Actually, why do I have this little, hold on, what is this little window here? Hey, hey, ladies, Darlene, Terry, Dawn, how are you all? It's Friday. All right. I have like this weird window up on my screen. Okay, I think we're good. I can see everything on one screen. Hello, Miss Stella. I have some blue necklaces, some long necklaces that I think are going to match those blue earrings that you purchased. So tonight, everything you're going to see is $5, all 100% nickel and lead free. Really, really cute. Look at this one that just arrived. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, Wendy's with you. Awesome. Hello, Michelle. Yay, Miss Edna, how are you? Terry, all my peeps are here. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, we have two pieces in the bling bag you guys are going to play for. For anyone who tagged a friend on my post the other day, you're up for a Z bracelet. Um, and you guys know I stocked up on those Z bracelets, so we're going to do lots of those giveaways over the next... Well, until hopefully I have enough to last till next July or August for the convention when the next uh, series comes out. Um, we're going to take another peek at Fashion Fix. So if you are not with me Wednesday night, Fashion Fix pieces uh, are in. You can pre-claim them. Uh, I will do my ordering on the, uh, the evening of the 4th going into the 5th. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Um, so everyone, thank you who spread the love by sharing a video or a post uh, since Wednesday night. You are all in. As long as it was shared publicly, I see those notifications. We get you entered in. We have our little bucket. For those that uh, tagged a friend in our post, those uh, folks will be up for a Z bracelet tonight. And you get to choose uh, which of the one of the five that we have. Um, we're going to start with the pieces that I have on. So for those of you that are shopping from Facebook, welcome. Pinned in the comments section are the instructions if you're a brand new shopper. You have a couple of different ways to shop with us. You can shop our live sale from Facebook. You can download our app, which is free to download. It's available for Apple devices as well as Android devices. The links directly to those two are pinned in the comments section. The app is so much fun to shop from. Very, very easy, quick response time on claiming items. Um, you can also shop our website. So 24 seven, you have access to do all the shopping that you wanna do. It creates an account, and well, once you have an account, I should say it creates a shopping cart when you claim pieces that you have access to 24 seven. You'll see the photos, you can add to it, you can remove items from it. Our shopping week runs Sunday to Saturday. So tomorrow ends our shopping week. You must be checked out before 5 p.m. Eastern time. Anything sitting in your car at 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow is going to automatically drop out. The system is all configured to do so. Happy Friday, Dawn. Hey, Jean, how are you? Um, so we're going to jump in to claim from Facebook. You have to comment sold and the number just like you see it above my head. If you are shopping from the app, all you have to do is click on the photo above my head and add to cart. Alrighty. 
So these earrings you see right above my head, comments sold 100. Um, I paired it with this new shell-like acrylic and silver necklace. So these are sitting on a silver fish hook, silver wire, and they are little acrylic like petals or shells. Sailboats and seashells. Seashells. Whoops, let me grab one so you can actually see the detail on this with my massive hands. Sailboats and seashells. The, these are sold 100. They are weightless, completely weightless. But so, so cute. And these have kind of like a little bit of an iridescent, like so, just like a shell. Sailboats and seashells sold 100. I do honor the buy 12, get the 13th piece for free. And the way it works with common sold is when you have purchased 12 uh, $5 pieces, um, or if you purchase a Z necklace, so the Z necklaces are $25, those are actually worth five um, in itself. So once you have earned basically 12 um, points, if that's what you want to call it, then we put a credit on your account for your 13th free piece. And you get to choose your free piece. Tied you over. So this is a brand spanking new necklace which just arrived today, tied you over. Um, oh, and I picked the wrong one. I put rose gold, it's not the rose gold one. Hold on one second, guys, I need to fix that. It is the silver one. Hold on a moment. Let me make sure, I'm gonna just go in and fix that right now so that way I did buy the rose gold, but the rose gold one is not in yet. So I am going to fix that right now. I am gonna make this one the silver. Silver, actually it's uh, a white. Hold on. Because this necklace is coming in rose gold as well. White. It's coated as white, so let me fix that. And let me update that product. And then I am gonna switch this one to the rose gold. So that way when that one comes in. Rose gold, okay, update. All better all better so it's gonna sh it's gonna say rose gold if you're on the app you'll see the name of it it actually says rose gold it is not rose gold it is silver so I just fixed it in our system um, so this one is sold 101 white acrylic shell it looks just like shell with your silver and your daintier tassel snake like chain on this one and I do have the extender all the way out. So it will sit just a little bit shorter if you put that extender um, up. So it's more medium length necklace. That one is sold 101, 101, and it's so cute. Some of you should have seen that one jump into your cart just a little bit ago. And this coil. I can't tell you how many times I've put this on, like in Vegas, it was just the perfect, it goes with everything. So a nice, whoops, didn't scan, hold please, what's going on? There we go. Ice knowing you. Your smoky gray faceted beads, silver and white rhinestones, a coil bracelet sold 102, 102. Did you all have a good week? That one is sold 102, and I know a few of you have some fun stuff go going on this weekend. Ice knowing you. So the earrings sold 100, the necklace is sold 101, and the bracelet sold 102. All righty.
We're going to do Family Feud tonight as well. Terry had a good week. Hello, Debbie. How are you? And meshed in mesh. Brass. So this is just like mesh. This is a fun, it's a fun necklace. <gasps> if you tend to uh, fidget or you need something, you know, to kind of move around, this is a fun one. So these are all... You know, very flexible. Sold one zero three one zero three. It's it's gonna sit right about uh, where my necklace is. It just has a longer tassel. <gasps> Tomorrow's your birthday, Michelle. Happy birthday! Oh, it's a bummer. You need to work. Sold one zero three. I love brass. Goes with everything. What I paired with that are the Brass and Turquoise, a convention piece. Badlands Eden sold 104. Fishhook backing, 104. Happy birthday. Oh, 49. So next year's the big one, right? 40 actually bothered me more than 50 did. 50 did not bother me. Whew, look at this. I have one available in this brass cup. It is a solid piece. No squeezing that. Um, I've got a little bit of room. I have an average size wrist. I wish, <laughs> Stella. <laughs> The messes are calling. Sold 105. Gorgeous. Does not look or feel like a $5 piece. This is like on the same level. Wait till you guys, if you did not see the um, Fashion Fix turquoise cuff the other night, that one is just blowing my mind. <laughs> Absolutely blowing my mind. And you know, if I could sing, I would sing to you, Michelle. But you know I can't sing. Uh, natural Novus, Novice. Green crackle stone, a white shell-like finish on this one as well. And then you have a little wood bead, block bead, your gray this one we've got coming in uh, two other colors. So this one's a little bit longer than what I have on. It's so pretty. This one is on the way with turquoise. Um, and I also have one that has an orange crackle stone on the way. Sold 106, 106. So all of the coming soon pieces on both uh, the app as well as the website, there's a category for coming soon. Those are pieces I've ordered, I have not yet received. You can pre-claim them. It's actually a great way to get a head start on those new releases. Um, and I just, last night, you should have received a notification uh, if you were on the app that there were new items entered into the coming soon. So this one is sold 106. Oh no, they closed the school. Oh yeah, that's a tough one. I feel so bad for, you know, all of the parents that had to do homeschooling uh, over the past, what, year and a half. It, I can't even imagine how difficult that would or was for many. 107. So the gray, gray crackle stone. 107. Sahara Serenity. And check out this bracelet. Now, this bracelet has a lobster claw and extender. That gray crackle stone. So you have two strands of stones, both connected. And like I said, the lobster claw and extender sold 108 Sandstone Sweetheart. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Wendy, absolutely. Some of these are um, fashion fix. Not all of them are fashion fix, but we'll go through the fashion fix here. Let me just show these last two bracelets. Hi, Chan, how are you? Tribal Spunk, four individual bracelets, gray little acrylic beads with silver on two, and then two of them have all silver. This is almost like a guitar screen, screen, string. I can't talk, where's Trish? <laughs> she would be telling me it's Kim language again. Um, so guitar string texture, they are stretchy. That is sold 109. And then pulling in the white on that necklace, this actually would be cute with the piece that I have on. Once Upon a Maritime, stretchy white moonstone. You've got texture on those beads as well. Sold 110, 110. All right, let's jump over to some Fashion Fix pieces. Oops, as I just drop my bracelet. I need a little bit more space here. The Fashion Fix pieces this month are incredible. So some of these, um, I believe just about all of them were claimed the other night. So I have one of each right now. Um, majority of them have already been claimed, but you can pre-order these. So anything that you claim that is currently not in stock will go to your wait list. I will order Fashion Fix pieces the evening of the 4th going into the 5th based off of all of those waitlisted items. And they probably will be in maybe two weeks after that. Um, so you don't pay for them until I physically receive them, check them into the system, and they'll move from your waitlist into your shopping cart. This is the um, Fiercely Fifth Avenue black enamel with a white rhinestone. So these bars are all sitting on this snake-like chain. Even the earrings are a de decent size. There is an extender and lobster claw clasp. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Sold 111. And if you prefer an earring that's a little bit larger. Now, you do not have to get the entire set. We scan them in individually, so you can choose which pieces you want. That one is sold 112. So this one's a little bit uh, longer, right? There's uh, not a substantial difference, but you can see the difference in size. So that one's just a little bit longer, but just so, 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 so pretty. So 112, 112. The bracelet is a hinged bracelet, which tapers down. So the opening is actually on the side. Now I have an average size wrist. This fits like perfect. So I would definitely say this is smaller to medium. A larger wrist, this one might be a little bit uh, snug. Sold 113, 113 for that hinged. And the ring, oh my gosh, the ring is just, <laughs> again, would go with so many different pieces. So it has a standard stretch, empirical a sparkle, sold 114. And you can see the bands, two are raised up. That one is sold 114. 114, gorgeous. It is set in silver, but the deepness um, and the antiquing surrounding the stones, you could definitely pull in gunmetal and wear it with gunmetal because the sides, they don't show. That one is sold 114. We, we were able to see these while we were at convention. So we did get a sneak peek of them and oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. Now this one, I 
think everybody was just going crazy on this one. This is set in rose gold and iridescent. It is a shorter necklace. But look at this. So you have your iridescent stone, and then these acrylic almost have a layer of the iridescent with the white pearls, rose gold, nautical nirvana. This one's going to sit like right around the collarbone. It does have an extender, though. I don't know if you can actually see that. I have to put my chin up. <laughs> Sold 115 115 So pretty. And you have your little bead rose gold earrings. Look at these. Tranquil, tr tranquil Trove. That iridescent teardrop stone right in the center. Fish hook backing. Hammered texture. Bracelet exact match to the necklace. This one has an extender and lobster claw clasp. Nostalgically nautical. This too, right? The iridescent stone, those pink iridescent acrylic beads, white pearls, 117, sold 117. And the ring... is a stunner absolute stunner it's simple but super elegant so you have that rose gold let me pull that off so you can see the the sides almost like that cross with the opening and then that gorgeous iridescent stone mystical treasure sold 118 118 so these should be in when i order um so if I order on the 5th, I, my guess is it's going to be somewhere around the 10th to the 12th of September is when we should see this order arrive. Um, all right. I'm going to kind of do the, the fashion fix pieces. This set, this hinge bracelet is incredible. So here is the necklace. You have the... It's a red, almost like a terracotta uh, mixed in with that turquoise. This too is on a snake like chain. So you have your matching little turquoise earrings. Look at this. Sold 119 Artisan Adventure. This is so pretty. I try sometimes. I'm like, oh, there's one particular set that really just stands out this one it i think is the one for this month i just adore that one the hoop earrings when you see the cuff it has the exact detailing as the cuff all the way around to the back almost like a little rope like texture right down the center of that flew the nest one two zero a good Medium size hoop, sold one two zero. And this bracelet. It looks, feels, uh, this is a hinged bracelet as well. So that detailing all the way around, right? So it's not just on the top, but look at this. It is so expensive looking, honestly. This is one of those pieces that you would find, you know, in a boutique. Um, it's solid. Sold one, two, one, Desert Roost. With that terracotta and turquoise. You could really wear it either way, too. But just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. One, two, one. And the ring is dainty, tangible texture. Dainty band, tangible texture, sold 122, 122. So again, these are the fashion fix pieces for September. 
They will be ordered, so ordering will open up the evening of the 4th going into the 5th. I will base my ordering off of all of the pre-claims. So anything sitting in uh, the wait list for these items, one of each will go out this weekend. So here is the next set. This one is dark, right? Dark hematite um, on gunmetal. The showcase must go on. Sold one, two, three. Just really. This would go with anything. Literally anything. Dress it up. Dress it down. Sold one, two, three. Showcase must go on. Now, you have a decent earring with that. The one that is paired is just a little bit uh, larger, right? You've got that dangling. Let me put that one back on there. Let's scan this one in. Sold one, two, four. This one, the gunmetal one, the gunmetal one I have in stock. This one, the turquoise one, that one I do not have. That one sold the other night. But this set I have, I believe I have the whole set. The necklace I do have, this one, and the earring. So the earrings are one, two, four. The bracelet. Yep, one available, one, the one piece. This too, another hinge. Now that hinge, it opens at the top. All the same exact stone on each piece. Okay, it's set in gunmetal. One, two, five, and then the ring, let me just see. Yep, so this entire set is, I have one, this one of each, but I will be ordering more based off of any additional claims. So the ring will sit up high. You've got that opening on the side in that seam stone. What an amazing set. Hey, think about this, right? If you know someone who loves gunmetal and hematite, like an entire set is $20. You can't buy just the necklace for $20 in a department store. It's crazy. All right. And then, so we did one, two, three, four. The final fashion fix set, which uh, I thought, this is funny, but it, it's funny, but it's not funny. Um, the bracelet, I found out as I was doing, looking at the, the photos of these pieces, that um, I need to order more of the bracelet. So if anyone did claim the bracelet the other night, um, I'll be reaching out to you. Circulating shimmer, and I'll show you why in a moment here. Brown cording, so three strands of the brown cording, textured yellow gold. This too has the extender and the larger, so sitting right about the same length as the piece that I have on, that one is sold one, two, seven. One, two, seven. The earrings, oh my gosh. A beautiful gold hoop. Now, the detail on this hoop is stunning. The bracelet, I realized all of that detail is on the inside. So this actually, this bracelet was actually, um, manufactured inside out so it should not uh it should have that same detailing as the earrings on the outside of the piece so that one will not be going out to anyone if they claimed it i'm going to order uh, another one curve crushing medium hoop sold one two eight right not too big, lightweight, they are not heavy. 
and let me just see yeah okay so this one was not claimed the other night um so this one will be replaced because that detailing on the inside really should be on the outside Cooley curved one two nine one two nine that two another solid piece i do have some room that one is sold one two nine And the ring with this set, Mystical Mantra, gold. Then we're going to do a, tri uh, not trivia, Family Feud question. So everybody gets to play fam Family Feud. Mystical Mantra, one, three, zero. Standard stretch. So that stretch comes all the way up. So for anyone who um, may have larger fingers, this style um, is actually a little bit more comfortable compared to the pieces that come down with, and I'm a little puffy tonight. <laughs> Sold 130. 130, that gorgeous white uh, stone. All right, let's take a look at a couple of the other All right, we're going to do Family Feud, and then I'm going to show those other three pieces behind me. So, this is what we do with Family Feud. Because we have folks on Facebook, as well as the app, the app's a little bit quicker response time. So, to keep it fair, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read a Family Feud question. Top 100 answers are on the board. The first five people with the correct, or I shouldn't say the correct, but the top answer, I'm going to put you in a drawing and we'll pull one name out for a credit for a free piece. So, we ready for a family feud question. Everyone, you're welcome to play. There is no purchase required to play any of our games or be involved in any of our drawings. Name something, and you're gonna call. You're gonna comment. Um, like I said, I've got top 100 answers are on the board, but I'm looking for the number one answer. The first five people that comment the number one answer, I will put into a drawing for a credit. Name something that starts with the word "chow." Name something that starts with the word "chow." And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to have a sip. I'm going to get some papers ready for my top answers. So I'll look, give you guys a, a minute to comment so everyone gets a chance to put a comment in. I'm going to show a couple of pairs of earrings. Oh, actually, let me get on the right screen. Here we go. Easy to persuade. So a kind of that mustard yellow suede with a little brown beads, light, light, light weight. Sold 131, 131. One three one easy to persuade. One thirty one. So this looks a little bit brighter. It um, on camera. I think because of the light is definitely more a mustard yellow. One thirty one. Another yellow. Friends of a leather. So again, mustard yellow leather piece holding that square silver fish hook backing sold 132 132 friends of a leather 132 another very very lightweight earring all right let's see what we have i'm going to scroll back up to the top so sally i saw your your comment chow mean edna chow 
Darlene Choking, Dawn Chow Chow, Debbie Hound, Stella Chow Main, Debbie Main, Terry Down, Chow Down, that's funny, that's a good one, Jean Chow Main, Darlene Chow Chow, Jan Chow Main, Chow Down, Chow, I'm going to say, assume Darlene, that's Chow Time. Yep, Sally, I saw that comment. I meant Chow Mean. Chow Hound, Chow Mean. Hi, Kelly. Thank you so much. All right. So, the number one answer was Chow Mean. So, in my list, the first five, and I need to jot these down. Oh, I have the papers right in front of me. First five, Chow Mean. Sally. So we're gonna do Sally. I'm just gonna put Sally in. I don't think I have any other Sally Ann's and I need a new little bucket. I'm using up all my buckets. So Sally was the first chow mein. Edna is the second chow mein. Edna is number two. Darlene, Choking, Dawn, Chow Chow, Debbie Hound, Stella, Stella is number three, Stella is number three, Debbie is number four, Debbie is number four, Terry Chow Down. Jean is number five. Chow Mean. So the number one answer, and I just went, went to write Chow Mean, <laughs> not Jean. Oh, Jean. Yes. Okay. Five, first five are in my bucket. So one of you will get a credit added to your account. So with any of the credits, uh, we put that on the account. You can apply it to any uh, order. They do not expire. So if you're not shopping this week, you don't find anything that you like, um, they never, ever expire. They'll sit there. All right. So Family Feud number one winner is, I need one piece of paper. One piece is Stella. Stella. So congrats, Stella. I will put a credit on your account. One free for Family Feud. All right. So the number one answer was Chow Mein. There were 57 that commented that one. Um, chowder. Now, does that really count? Chowder. Name something that starts the, with the word chow, I guess. Chow, so Chowder was number two. Chow Hound was number three. Chow Chow was number four. Chow Down was number five. And Chow Time was number six. But the number one answer was Chow Mein. All right, let me just highlight that one so I know that we used that one. And I'm just going to minimize that because we're going to do it again. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. We're also going to do our Spread the Love giveaway. Like I said, we do that on every live. It is based off of a previous live or any previous posts that I put up. As long as it is shared publicly, I see those notifications. We automatically add you into what we call the Spread the Love giveaway. Every live. And tonight... One lucky person who is in this bucket is going to get a Z. Yay. Um, I might give two away. We'll see. We'll see how the night goes, right? All righty. Here is another gorgeous multi-metal piece. Let me get my earring. Look. Sometimes they go upside down on me. Let's make sure I'm on the right. Go stare crazy. Look at this. So a little bit of a chunkier medium chain on this one. Your earrings are the same detailing as the little tassels down at the bottom. So you have brass and silver. Go stare crazy. Sold 133. Nicole Parton, I believe you are because you tagged somebody. 
<laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Go stare crazy. Look at the detail on that necklace. Insane. That one is sold one thirty three. One thirty three. We're gonna go over here. Look at these suede earrings that came in. Yeah, you you um I can tell you guys in one second. Um let me just open up my page here. Yep, Nicole, you are there. You tagged someone. Yes, you did. Esther, hello. Um, so this necklace, I paired these new suede earrings with that convention piece. So let's start with the earrings. Extremely lightweight. Let me make sure I'm on the right screen. Suede wrapped all the way around. It's actually a silver hoop. You have the silver post backs. A good size hoop. Not too, too big. Suede Parade 134. 134. This COVID mess has messed with my mind. Oh, you poor thing. Sold 134. Awesome for fall. We'll go with so many different things. So I paired it with that new convention piece. Whoops. <clears throat> Wendy, um, let me double check. So, Paula, Amaral, Don Tucker, Edna, Debbie Saracino, and Nicole Parton are up for a Z based off of the post that I did yesterday um, to tag a friend. Now, if anyone else wants to get in there, you have to jump over to Facebook and jump over to the post that I did. It was last night, and it's a big, uh, it says game night on it, and go tag a friend to join us. Or on Facebook, uh, open up the current video on Facebook and tag a friend in there inviting them to come join us and then I'll go back and check and we'll add anyone else in to that um, drawing. Tranquil Trendsetter. Now this one mustard yellow, kind of that cinnamon color cream. This is a gorgeous acrylic piece. Sold 135, 135. Bring a friend, bring a friend. One, three, five. And copper. So anyone um, who does that, I'll hold off and we'll add you, get you added. So this one was the family feud. I gotta keep them straight here. <laughs> and this one here, seed bead, copper and gunmetal. Oh my gosh, this necklace looks amazing on. Um, we have this in multiple colors. So I have this one in a all copper, all brass, gold, a gold and silver, um, black, I'm just looking over at the wall to see what other colors I have. Um, an all gunmetal, I think, yeah, an all gunmetal. But here is the copper and gunmetal. It is the game night one, Dawn. Yep, it is. So it has like that purple lavender background with the blue, almost like sticky notes, right? And it says Friday night is game night, game night with Orbit Jewelry. That's the one. Or you can open up the live that we're uh, right now on Facebook and tag someone there. And I will check it momentarily. Tranquil Trendsetter 135, 135. 
And this one, now it, I said it's gunmetal, but with that clear kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ooh, wire, clear wire. The gunmetal, it really, you can see, it definitely has, pulls more, looks more silver than it does gunmetal. So this is one that you could really pair with either one, either silver or gunmetal. But I paired it with, oh, hold on, I was on the wrong screen. Let me get back over here, scan this one. Catwalk, Catwalk Queen sold 136, 136 for copper and gunmetal. But it looks fabulous with the silver, watching the sunrise, 138. 138. Yeah, yeah. So go over, pop over to Facebook, bring a friend, tag someone. Yep, let me double double check. Let me double check. <clears throat> so for those of you who do do uh, sharing, and I honestly am so grateful to all of you who help spread the love. Um, it helps our business grow. Um, but when you go to share it, you want to make sure, even if, you're, if your personal page is private, you still have the ability to share it publicly. And unless we're friends on Facebook, I don't see the notification unless it's done publicly. So when you go to um, spread the love of a video, you click that little share under your right to the right of your name, you most likely will see friends and you want to hit that drop down and make sure it says public and then I'll always see those, I'll see that notification. All right, let me get to that game night one and um, nope, I see Darlene. Nicole, Parton, Debbie, Agna, Don Tucker, Paula. So, but let me, hold on, let me go to the video. Did you do the video one? Maybe you did it on that one. Find comments. Oops. And sometimes it takes a little bit for the, the, comment to like kind of refresh on the page but what you are doing you have a friend who you know would love this jewelry all you have to do is start to type that person's name like add a comment to the post start to type that person's name and you it should automatically kind of pop up and fill the full the full name and you just select that one all right Wendy let me reload my page like I said, sometimes it takes um, a couple minutes. Game night. Yeah, not yet. I'm not seeing it, but we'll give it. We'll give it a, a couple minutes because it could just be a delay in the like updating of the page. Whoops, I'm on the wrong screen again. <laughs> All right. Zesty, oh, what? I don't know why that earring just. Hold on one second. That screen, it's popping up the wrong piece. What? Okay. And it's possible. So here are the earrings that are right above my head. Sold 138. So this is gunmetal. This too would go with that necklace. So either gunmetal or the silver. Now this bracelet is acting up and not putting in the right piece. So I need to do this one. 
need to fix that one because that one is just not for some reason it's pulling out the wrong number okay let's oh wait a minute no hold on i was going to go back let me go back to that page and reload it and see if we got more comments there <clears throat> Nope, not seeing it yet. Wendy, you did it on the game night one? No. Um, hold on. Oh, okay, now I see what you did. Four minutes ago. So you shared it out. Um, you too. And Dawn, I see that you shared it and you tagged someone. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, so let's get Wendy and Don Swenson in there. So you shared and tagged. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. You can tag someone right in the comment just by commenting, commenting their name in the comments, or you can uh, share and comment, but again, it has to be public in order for me to see it. All right, so we're gonna get Wendy and Dawn, yep, Darlene, yep, I uh, saw so yours in there, so we get Darlene in there, and Dawn Swenson, and Dawn Swenson, okay, awesome, so here's the deal, here's the deal, you guys ready for these, they are incredible, they are incredible. So there will be five pieces, five Z bracelets, right? And our lucky winner will get to choose one. There is, like I said, no purchase necessary. However, you're responsible for shipping. So if you have a package going out, um, we'll just add this to your outgoing package. Uh, if you don't, Sorry for the crinkling. I should have taken these out of the bags prior. Um, if you do not have a package, then what we'll do is we'll just put a shipping debit on your account. You just pay the $4 shipping fee. And Dawn, yeah, I have you in here. You were on the original. Um, Paula Amaral, Dawn Tucker, Edna, Debbie, Nicole, Darlene, Wendy, and um, they did it via the, and Wendy and Don Swanson. So we have two Dons. <laughs> I have a lot of Dons. <laughs> okay, so here we go. You guys, whoever is the winner, you need to let me know which one you want. Here is, this is going to be number one, so you have to pay attention. This is number one. It has a hinge not a hinge, I'm sorry, lobster claw clasp and extender. So that will be option number one. Option number one. Option number two also has a lobster claw with the extender. This white pearl cluster. There are iridescent beads in here as well. And rhinestone beading. This is an exact match to a Z necklace. So is this one. So that's option one. This is option two. Christy, hello, hello. This will be option three. A stretch, all bling. That will be option three. Look at that piece. These are amazing. Option four. If you saw with were with me, um, was it, what night did we show the, the Z's? Friday night? I think it was last Friday night. Uh, the Z necklaces, there is a long turquoise necklace. So this will be option four, that gorgeous long coil. That's option four. And option five is this incredible Gunmetal hematite hinged bracelet. Like, 
holy cow. So that's option five. All right, you ready, ladies? They are amazing, absolutely amazing. So we're gonna do more of these. Um, and we'll have different ways to win. This was just the one uh, that I chose for this week was to tag a friend, invite people in to join us. Um, so those that did so are in here. And our Z bracelet winner this week. So we did one last week. And our winner for this week is, oh, drum roll. It is Wendy. Wendy. So you need to let me know which one. Option one, whoops. Option one, which is all rhinestones. Option two, the white pearl cluster. Option three, Option four, this is amazing, or option five. So Wendy, you are our Z recipient tonight. Let me stick these right back in here because we're going to do more of these drawings. So one, two, three, four, or five, Wendy. And let me just make a note on Wendy Z bracelet. Z bracelet winner. Three, please. One, two, three. So that was this one. The blingy, right? That's the one. Woohoo! All right. So let me put that one, the rhinestone stretch. Rhinestone stretchy. You got it. Yay. All righty. I'm just going to put that one right here so I know which one to pull for you. So we're definitely gonna do more Z bracelet drawings. We continue those on. Alrighty, let me move that. We're also going to do our Spread the Love giveaway tonight as well. Oh, wrong screen. Dang, 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 dang. Wish the mouse would just automatically go to where it needs to be. <gasps> Rich with written richness. Now this ring has a dainty band. This would look incredible with that necklace as well. Rich with written richness 139. 139. 139. And then a pale yellow garden paradise. All right, Miss Stella, I'm going to show you those blue necklaces that I pulled for you as well. Garden Paradise, pale yellow beading and a little iridescent, white iridescent stone right in the center. Standard stretch. That one is sold 140. 140. And a bangle set. Three piece bangle. The brown acrylic and then you have white rhinestone on that same bracelet the other two thinner with some texture sunset fusion 141 141 all right miss stella so like i said longer necklaces with that blue and i am pretty sure i don't have any more of the blue earrings that you purchased but i am almost positive it's this tone of blue. This one is tassel takeover. So you have that longer tassel at the bottom, some rhinestones, and this has that smoky blue bead. 142 tassel takeover. So that is one of them. This 
is a little bit of a shorter piece, a more medium length. This is a very pale acrylic, the pale blue that's sitting in the silver. So two layers on this one. Back for more, 143, sold 143. 143, I'm just gonna oh, go back to my Facebook video, there we go. And this one, I love this piece actually. And I have this one in black, so if anyone would like to see the black on this, let me know. So this one has the smoky beading, the clear blue faceted, the beads gradually get larger as it goes down, glow and steady, wins the race. Dawn, I am not doing coffee with Kim in the morning because I have to go for that annual little vice test. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so, I will not, and it's right at the same time that I would normally be gone doing our little coffee with Kim. Glow and Steady wins the race, sold 144. 144. So those are the three longer blue, the first one. This one, you got it. So this one will be sold 142. 142 for that one. Tassel Takeover. I think this is actually the, the best option uh, with those earrings. The Good House came in today. This is so cute. Now, this one I know hopped into quite a few carts. Yes, 142, Stella. Yep. Turn Me Loose, Black Suede, the hammered silver. Matching earrings. That one is sold 145, 145. So a single black suede, one, four, five, turn me loose, turn me loose, isn't there a song like that, sass squad, sass squad, softest leather, double snap, so on one side is the black. Now this is not made to be a reversible bracelet, but I can tell you I've worn mine uh, both ways. So one side you have the white rhinestones on a very, very soft leather. The opposite side has the back. So it's like these little studs on a like almost like metallic gray. Now, like I said, it wasn't meant to be a reversed bracelet. So, yeah, you see the back of those snaps, but you don't really see them when it's on. So I've worn it both ways. So it's like getting two bracelets in one. That is sold 146, 146. So the gray or the black, 146. Here is another leather bracelet. Now this one you have kind of that little buckle, right? Slide. And the, the more this is worn, the sore, sore, I can't talk tonight. I sound like <laughs> Jungle Cat Couture. This has a blue silver, like a bluish silver. How cute is that? That one is sold 147, 147. Now this one I would imagine um, would take some practice to get on. Actually, you know what? It's really not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad at all to put on. I think this is actually easier than a lobster claw clasp, uh, which I still need to make sure that I show you guys a little trick on that. So you just slide that through. It uh, is not bad. Takes a little bit. Yeah, not bad to get it on. 
Jungle Cat Couture 147. Here it's a beautiful white moonstone set in yellow gold with some rhinestones. Sparkling Spectacle. Sparkling Spectacle. White Moonstone. Longer Necklace 148. Sold 148. One four eight. Now this necklace, chunkier, yellow gold with rhinestone, rhinestone renegade. So that chunky chain, which I think allows you to like really dress this one down. Throw it on with jeans and a t-shirt. One four nine sold. One four nine. Or dress it up. Right, so that one is sold 149 if you want to bring it more uh, into a dressier style. Glowing Reviews. This is a yellow gold fish hook backing. Marquee cut white rhinestones. 150. This was another uh, convention piece. Look at these earrings. <gasps> sold 150. 150. And a coil. The Glow Digger in gold with white rhinestones. Sold 151. 151, I have one of these available. 151, the Glow Digger. And talking about rhinestones. Spellbinding spell Sparkle. This is a blockbuster, which means if it sells out, we know that uh, it will come back. Great thing about paparazzi. This one very easily can double that chain right through and shorten this necklace. So you can wear it either way, long, or bring it, whoops, my little ruffle, bring it up, make it more of a statement, shorter statement piece. Spell Binding Sparkle, 152, 152, look at that thing, sparkle, and it's it's got some weight to it. Now with that, we have this hinged, call me old fashioned, hinged bracelet, Ugh. all bling. One, five, three will fit. I, I've got room, so I think any size wrist is good. Call me old fashioned, sold one, five, three, one, five, three. One, five, three. So just as a reminder, shopping carts expire tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. Our shopping week, Sunday to Saturday. You must be checked out prior to that time, prior to 5 p.m. Eastern. Items will automatically uh, fall out of your car at that time. We charge a one uh, flat rate of $4 for shipping, and we allow our customers to keep their carts open for the week, so Sunday to Saturday, and that way you only charged one $4 flat rate shipping fee. Items um, will ship out on Monday. Um, as soon as those orders are fulfilled, I automatically go back and add a credit if you have purchased 12 pieces. We add that credit right back um, on there so you can apply the credit at any time on a future purchase. And you can choose your piece. We do keep track of all of the sales. If it's a Z necklace, you automatically get credit for five uh, pieces because the Z necklaces are $25, um, but everything else is five bucks. And it's amazing, right? Amazing, amazing costume jewelry. Classy is in session, white rhinestone. One, five, four, those rhinestones go all the way around to the back. One, five, four, this is a great piece. I have worn these with just about everything. Um, if you just want a little bit of sparkle, it's a smaller hoop. Right, so it's not uh, so big that that's all you see coming. 
So that is one option for an earring. We also have this daintier hoop with the white rhinestones. So this one a little bit more dainty. And at the bottom, it kind of gives that twist. Trail of Twinkle 155, 155, and the tinier rhinestones. Sold 155. Braided Twilight. One available in this lobster claw. Does have the extender. Kind of almost like a braid. It's not quite a braid. It's like two strands um, kind of twisted back and forth. 156 braided twilight 156 for some bling. Bling bling. Bling bling. Alright, did you all see these earrings that I posted? Uh, yesterday as well. Oh my god. These are so much prettier in person. Opal Oracle. Copper. Post back. Stunning, actually. So it has that opal. They're showing on the camera because though I can see the camera on Facebook. And it's actually showing more white, but they are like a true opal um, color to them. Set in copper, 157, sold 157. And they're not too, too long. 157. So with that, I paired a couple of different necklaces with those. The first is Powerhouse. Powerhouse Prowl, actually, in copper. Right, perfect. Sold 158. 158, so you have the beaded uh, copper earrings. 158, so that is one option with those earrings. The other is this longer necklace. Basic Babe in copper. I do have this same necklace in silver as well. If you would like to see the silver, let me know. I'm more than happy to grab the silver. So this one is Basic Babe Copper 159. 159. And I have two different uh, bracelets option. The first is this stretch, Level the Field. Level the Field 160. And the second will be this bangle set. One, two, three. I think there's seven in here all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, there's nine. Relics on repeat. Sorry, my card's getting in the way. Let's get that card out of the way. Here we go. So nine individual bangles in copper. You've got different textures on these. Couple smooth. One, six, one. This is a great stack them up. Or if you just feel like wearing a couple. So nine individual bracelets sold one, six, one, one, six, one in copper. One, six, one. Oh, I know a few of you grabbed this necklace, um, but I got a pair of earrings in. And I only have one of the earring. But here is the necklace. Tangled Gardens Orange Moonstone. This is another solid piece. Like how in the world is that $5? Medium to longer. So a lot of the, the length on the necklaces really depends on your height. I'm pretty tall. So a lot of the long pieces show more like medium length on me. Um, all of them, if there's a lobster claw clasp, you typically will see an extender, so some you can lengthen. And what I will do um, with long necklaces, if I choose to wear it uh, shorter, and if the like jump ring or the loop is not large enough to wrap that chain through twice, I will just unclip that lobster claw and just clip it on in a shorter area and make it more of a shorter piece. So that way I have the option to wear it either long or short. 
Now, if you always prefer everything to be a little bit shorter and you're good with tools, you can always just open up those uh, links and shorten the necklace. And here are, and I have one of these available, that perfect match with that necklace. Look into my crystal ball. Oh, you put it on a choker. That's a great idea, Dawn. That's a great idea. That must be really pretty on a choker. Look into my crystal ball. 163. 163. One available. So that is the perfect earring with that necklace. Spot on sparkle. Right, textured silver rings, the white rhinestones, chunkier chain, 164. I have one available, one remaining. These went out the door like hotcakes too. So there is one left on this one, spot on sparkle. This was another convention piece. Oh, my earring's thrown upside down. So that one is sold 164. This is, I think, the perfect bracelet with that necklace. So it has a toggle closure and that same white rhinestone. All a glitter, all a glitter. Sold 165, 165. 165. And I think every girl should have these in her jewelry box. Another blockbuster earring, right? One of paparazzi's best sellers, glitzy by association, white rhinestones on the inner part of the back of that earring. Sold 166, 166. We're gonna do another family feud question here. Those are sold 166, and we're gonna do our spread the love. So, um, oh, and we still have the bling bag. What? Holy cow. Alrighty, so let's do family feud. So everyone pay attention. I am going to read a question. Uh, top 100 answers are on the board, just like before. I am looking for the first five people that comment the first, or I don't want to say first, yeah, the first, or the number one answer. Okay. We ready? Name something that might be full of holes. Name something that might be full of holes. Name something that might be full of holes. <clears throat> First five answers that have the number one answer. <laughs> Name something that might be full of holes. Oh, I keep getting like a pinch something in my hip. What? All right. Are these little buckets cute? All righty.
That is pretty clever, Darlene. I wouldn't have even thought about that one. All right. Any other? We have, I can tell you, we have... Um, Okay, so I'm going to be a little bit picky on this one. So, there's one more count. Oh, that's a good one, Tanya. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, number one answer is Swiss cheese. So, Swiss, Swiss cheese is what I'm looking for. So, first Swiss cheese I see is John Swenson and then Stella and then Edna, and then Debbie Mays. I think that was supposed to be Swiss. Um, so what was that? I, what did I say? I said Dawn, one, two, Stella, three, Edna, four, Debbie Mays, five, Terry. Okay, so let me write those down. So Swiss cheese is the actual answer that I was looking for, and in my list, we have Don Swenson was number one, Don Swenson, and then Stella, Stella was number two, Edna was number three, Edna was number three, Strainer, that's funny. I wonder if it's on there. No. Oh, yeah, it is. Good answer. Cheese grater. Um, Debbie Mays. Debbie Mays. And Terry West. Terry West. So those are the first five that I see on my list that said Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Alrighty. So number one answer, Swiss cheese. I will pull um, and I will put a credit on someone's account. Number two was clothes slash socks. Number three, now this is so funny because I thought this was a brilliant, I think it was Tanya that said it, alibi slash story. I like that one. Um, four was net slash fishing net, five colander slash strainer, six golf course. Nobody said golf course, right? Uh, seven screen. And then in the lovely state of Rhode Island, road slash street. <laughs> so full of holes. Um, so Anyone else have a state that their roads have lots of holes? <sighs> Alrighty, so credit will go to... Oh, I just scraped my nail at the bottom of the, the can. And you know it just sent chills. You know that sound of running your fingers, your fingernails down a chalkboard? Ooh, and it is Debbie! Woohoo! So congratulations. I will put a credit on your account for a free piece. So one free for Family Feud. So congratulations, Debbie. Family Feud. Florida too? Alabama too? Congrats, Debbie. All right, so I will add those credits on right after the show. Um, now, I would think that further south, uh, you guys wouldn't have those issues, because I know a lot of times it's from the the weather, the freezing, and um, then the plows up here. Missouri was bad. Georgia, you guys have it. Massachusetts, Paula. Yep, Massachusetts and Rhode Island, I would think the same. Um, so for anyone 
um, I'm putting this out there to anyone who is in Rhode Island or in, um, you know, Massachusetts, you're local. Uh, if you want to come to my in-home boutique and shop, you are welcome to. All you have to do is just message me, let me know. So if there's a weekend you feel like taking a road trip and you want to come down um, and hang out in the jewelry room and do your uh, any shopping, you are welcome to do that. You're welcome to hang out with me when I go live one night if you want to do that too. Um, Missouri was bad. Sinkholes, Nicole. Wow. Now, is it true? I heard that um, the west coast of Florida, that there are a lot of sinkholes. Is that just a rumor or one of those little false statements, or is that actually true? Yeah, Polly, you are welcome to come anytime. All right, let's carry on. Full Frontier, a large teardrop turquoise. This, like, look at the size of this compared to my hand. And you guys know I have, I have pretty big hands. <laughs> Full Frontier 167, 167, it's true. Oh no. So that one is sold 167. Huh? Interesting. Is it really expensive? Like some, depending on where you are in the coast, blood insurance? Terra Attribute. So this is a post back earring with the turquoise. That one is sold 168, 168. 168. Another option for a turquoise earring. This is cute. 169, a fish hook backing on this one. Lightweight. One six, it's expensive. One six nine, and how do you like? You know, I know with flood, uh, you have different flood zones. Is it just you really should just be on the safe side and add that to a you ins insurance? Because um, who would know if you're like prone to if your area is prone to that. Dramatically Nomadic 170, stretchy turquoise stone, 170. All right, I'm gonna do, before I forget, this is our Spread the Love. I'm gonna do our Spread the Love. Oh, so they don't even call it flood insurance anymore. It's sinkhole. Huh. Oh. 128. That's not really, I guess, and does that vary depending on where you are? Is that like across the board? All right, we're doing the Spread the Love giveaway. So everyone that is in this uh, bucket here shared a my Wednesday night video or any post between that video and when I went live tonight. Uh, as long as it is shared publicly, I see those notifications, we automatically add you in to the drawing. Huh, no flood insurance. So if, If there's a flood, does your regular homeowner's insurance cover that? And our Spread the Love winner is Miss Dawn Swenson. Dawn! Congrats, two free. So Spread the Love is always two free pieces. It's our way of saying thank you to all of our customers who help us grow our business by sharing a video or a post. Um, you know, we want to continue to grow. It's been an incredible 
my God, two years. It will be January will be two years. Thank you. Um, and this just helps us continue to expand our customer base. And it is our way of saying thank you for doing that. So thank you, Dawn. Thank you to every one of you who spread the love. Um, I truly, truly am grateful. Spread the love. So I will get that added as well. Oh my goodness. That can be costly. Hmm. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. Alrighty. We got another game to play. Um, two pieces are in the bling bag. So you're gonna comment. I want everyone who is here to comment one playing card. Comment one playing card. We have two pieces up for grabs. Um, and that will be two, four, five, six. And a Z bracelet that we've given away tonight. Yes, I did see that condo building. That was awful. That was awful. All right, here are a couple of men's items. So while you guys are commenting, um, smaller dainty earrings, Jan. I'm assuming that's what you meant, but let me know. And are you looking for a particular metal or a color post um, clips? So let me know, because I definitely have some daintier earrings. Yeah, let me know if you're looking for a particular, and I can grab a, a few of them. Brass. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So while you guys are commenting, let me pull some daintier earrings. of dainty. And some of them may not be, you may not consider dainty, but uh, I pulled some, you know, they're kind of a little bit, they go up in size. All right, let's do the bling bag and then we'll show these brass dainty earrings. Let me get to the top, make sure I have everyone. Edna, eight of hearts. Stella, six of hearts. Dawn, eight of spades. Joe, nine of diamonds. Debbie, ace of diamonds. Jean, four of clubs. Paula, seven of hearts. Esther, seven of hearts. Darlene, queen of diamonds. Dawn Tucker, king of hearts. Jan, four of hearts. Terry, king of hearts. Debbie, a jack of hearts. All right, we ready? Two pieces up for grabs. If we have two winners that uh, comment the same, that's okay. Uh, you'll each get a piece because we have two pieces, so we split the pot. And if it's an ever an odd number, I add one in to make it even, so everybody gets an even amount. I'm gonna give it another shuffle here. Let me see if I have any dainty brass over here on my twosie. Yep, another brass. All right, here we go. Darlene's got our drum roll ready to go. And our, oh well. I'm going to 
gonna dig in the center. Pull one. Ooh, ten of clubs. Ten of clubs. We have a jack, a king, four, king, queen, seven, seven, four, ace, nine, eight, six, eight. So, no match. This card will not go back into the deck. So I'm gonna put this one in here. Add another piece to the bling bag. So that means Wednesday, uh, not Wednesday night, Sunday night. And let me just jot that down. Sunday night will be three pieces that you guys will play. Sunday three. All right. Wilson, uh, I think he's in bed already. <laughs> and the Divas, one of them was under, she was in a box under my desk over there. Uh, the other one's outside. <laughs> so here is the first rare refinement brass. This is a post back. So it has some antiquing in there. 172, sold 172. Got one rare refinement. Here is the a cute little, it's called Bright as a Button. Bright as a Button in Brass, post back. Sold 173, 173. So we had dinner with um, my in-laws tonight because they are leaving Sunday morning to drive back to Florida. So they spend the summer or a good portion of the summer up here and then they go back to Florida. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He's so funny. Wing bling, look how cute these are. The little Orem stones post back. Wing bling sold 174, 174. Another dainty brass, 174. Jacket earrings, these are fabulous. A force to beam reckoned with. So that jacket earring, so you can wear just the stud, or you can s sit this either in front of your ear or behind your ear, right? So it's shown in the photo with this behind, the way that they were really designed to be worn. A force to beam reckoned with 175, 175, 175. Here's another jacket. Heartthrob Twinkle. So now we're getting into something a little bit longer, but I still refer to these as on the daintier side. Heartthrob Twinkle. So you have the little heart with white rhinestones, and then this piece, again, can either be worn in the front or in the back. That one is sold 176, 176. I have a couple of little dangly. So again, I kind of refer to this as a, a daintier earring, but it may not be <laughs> to some. Eastside Excursionist in brass. So a little bit daintier, 177. That one is sold 177. Here's a little hoop. Again, brass with the white rhinestones, so the white rhinestones come up to the back. 178, sold 178. Are those little heart ones, Dawn? I used to. Um, do I have any more of those? Um, you know what? I might, I might have a one and done. It's not on my Tuesday tree, but let me check my one and done because I used to, do I have any more? I might. So these are 178, 178. And then I have the one last, and this one may not be referred to as dainty for some, but we have enchanted vines in brass, 179. 
So I think that one is kind of on the daintier side. 179 in brass. All right, let me double check on that heart one. Because I know I did have those. No, it does not look like I have any more of those. Um, nope. And I can verify that real quick to make sure, but I don't believe I do. Oh, you're so welcome, Jan. No, silver is gone. Do not have any more of those. I'm sorry. Okay. Practical Pioneer 171. Brown leather. Oh, that's right. I think you told me that before, Debbie. Yay. I love one, uh, friends and sisters and hop on together. Practical Pioneer sold 171 that brown leather. You have the buckle with varying holes for sizing. Oh, you're so welcome, Dawn. That one, 171. And I paired it with this men's urban piece. Brown cording you have the turquoise stone in here. Hold your arrowhead. Now this one, you can, it's shown modeled on a man. Um, but girls could wear this one as well. You just slide those knots to lengthen this or shorten it. Hold your arrowhead up high. Hold your arrowhead up high. Sold 180, 180. 180, okay, we have a couple of copper pieces. Our regular schedule, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. I am actually located in Rhode Island and just a reminder, our shopping week runs Sunday to Saturday. So all shopping carts expire 5 p.m. Eastern on Saturdays. So you want to make sure you're checked out prior to that time. We do allow our customers to keep their carts open for the week. That way you're only charged the one $4 flat rate shipping fee. Uh, but you do need to be checked out. Sold 181, 181, and Wendy and Dawn, did you guys see the, the copper um, butterfly necklace hop into your carts? It is so addicting, isn't it? I know, trust me, I know. Um, and But it just keeps, it keeps getting better and better uh, each week I swear like it, look at the coming soon um all of the pieces that are on the way like every day it's just like oh my gosh no tomorrow I am not doing coffee with Kim in the morning tomorrow morning because I have to go for the annual uh squish the squish the the girls <laughs> so, <laughs> unfortunately but you know what we all we all need to take care of that so make sure you have your annual mammogram done. 
Bravo Bravado, 182, 182. Um, and I don't know uh, how long it's going to take, so I can't really commit to, I mean, if I get back and if I'm in and out of there, hopefully I get back, you never know, I may just pop on, but I don't want to commit to something right now without really knowing the whole, uh, so that is sold 182, Bravado, Bravo, Bravado, 182. And this just reminded me, Miss Jewel behind me is wearing a new necklace and earrings as well. This cuff is solid. Vine Garden. After the smush, I know. <laughs> Vine Garden. And it usually ends up having to follow up with uh, an ultrasound um, typically every year. So that's kind of why I'm like, I know I have a feeling I'm not going to be in and out of there in a heartbeat. Vine Garden 183, 183. That is one of the options for bracelets. Here's another gorgeous copper stretch. Rustic Rhythm 184. 184. Just never get used to them. Never ever get used to that. Flauntable Florals. Fish hook backing. So this one, more medium size, medium to smaller, 185. And I have this same neck, uh, same earring in brass. So if you'd like to see the brass one in this, let me know. I will grab it, 185. And then let's look at what Jewel has on. This necklace is on its way in copper as well. Um, and then those like light, almost a celery color on the earrings. Beaded beacon. So that silver multi bead. Oh, the multi strands. This is a cute piece. This is something that you can just you know, you're running out the door, you just want to like throw something on um, to jazz it up just a little bit. This is a great, because you can just throw it right on over your head. Beaded Beacon sold 186. 186. Super classy necklace. And these earrings, like I said, are like a celery color. It is a smaller hoop, and this is almost like a raffia wrapped around that silver hoop. Perfect size for many different people. You know, not everybody likes those big um, statement earrings, and a lot of times you see these the style as a larger earring. This is just a perfect, you can see a little piece of fuzz on that one. Sold 187, A Chance of Rainbows, 187. So pretty, aren't they? 187. So I put that on this jewel. Okay. Um, I wanted to show you guys some. Another earring set of the children's pieces. You have that one in your cart, you're gonna love it, Terry. It really is pretty. I think it's prettier in person than it was um, on the website when I bought it. And many of the pieces are like that. Okay, here is a really cute five piece um, Starlet Shimmer set. So earrings, you get all five colors for $5. So they will come in a pink organza bag already for gift giving. So on this set, you have a blue 
and you can see it um, it has dimension so it actually looks like you know crystal with a little bit of white going through so you can see it has some depth to it so you have blue yellow purple orange and white they are so cute so five piece set for five dollars this will be sold 188 188 for all five I love those earrings 188 all right I'm gonna continue on Here's a beautiful orange iridescent piece. Extravagant elegance. These uh, crystal-like beads, like I said, iridescent. So you're picking up different tones, different colors in there. So you can kind of see, you see like some purple, pinkish. 189, 189. This is a beauty. 189 multi chain so you have four chains and then one has the iridescent beads extravagant elegance 189 189 a little cute coil would be perfect with that into infinity orange so a little mini coil one nine zero one nine zero one nine zero and then an orange moonstone so this moonstone serenely scalloped solid piece with all of the orange moonstones 191 sold 191 191 serenely scalloped and with either one of these um, I think you could wear this this is a bracelet that you could just really do so much with belongs in the wild multi three individual bracelets right so something like this you could pair that one with you have a wood with the silver you have wood with the orange Crackle stone, some of the clear or that orange tone faceted beading belongs in the wild. 192 sold 192. It's an incredible piece. Stop, teardrop, and roll. Green. Um. Oh my gosh, what is this color? My brain just went blank. Um, somebody will know it. Stop teardrop and roll a medium gunmetal with that beautiful green peridot. Right? Now, this has texture. You've got waves in there. Even on the top, you have like this little wave with that green. 193. 193. It kind of looks like lime too with the lights on it and the bright. Museum Muse in gunmetal. We have this one in silver as well. 194. 194. Museum Muse. So this is perfect. If you like, you don't like the dangly pieces and hearing the metal, these are both connected so you don't hear that. That is the 194. And the ring, which is perfect with that necklace, is, if I could open the bag, sold 195. Dainty band. 
195. So reminder, don't forget to check out tomorrow. 194, you sure can, Don. You sure can. Wall. When I first put the, we moved things and we set up the earring wall, I had everything by color, right? But as pieces have sold out and <laughs> pieces come and go, they now are not all by color and sometimes it takes me a while. These are not heavy at all. Not at all. Nope. 196 196 for the silver all right we're gonna look at a couple more items and then we are going to sign off but remember sunday night we are back at 8 p.m surfing the net macrame kind of that dipped dye olive green matching earrings the little dip die and this has that pull cord so you can shorten that necklace or I think this just kind of looks cute when it's longer 197 197 for the olive green and the perfect earrings with that are these green twine wrapped hoops olive green twine and dine of that medium to larger earring 198 sold 198 198 one, twine and dine all right did I forget any uh, we did the spread the love we did the Z giveaway we did a couple family feud and we did the bling bag you didn't forget anything right girls <laughs> I hope all right so Sunday night, uh, we're back here at 8 p.m. Eastern, our uh, regular Sunday night live. Tomorrow, cards expire, 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'd actually like to start it back up next Saturday. I have to just check the calendar. I was, I was going to do it tomorrow, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, darn it, I have that appointment, which you know you book like a year in advance. So it just popped up on my reminders today. Um, yeah, so next weekend is the long weekend, so we'll definitely do something on, uh, on Saturday morning. And hopefully, you know, people, not everybody is going away, <laughs> but that's okay, right? We'll be here. So that will be what, the, uh, what date will that be? That will be the 4th, September 4th. We'll definitely do it. All right, so ladies, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, congratulations to all of our lucky winners. And don't forget, check out uh, before 5 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Now, I will tell you, um, I will not add any new items. I do have quite a few hostess rewards I need to get in. I will not add them tomorrow. So, but I will start to add them on um, Sunday. So you'll see some new things popping in on Sunday as well. So you all have a great weekend. Have fun. Happy birthday. I know there's a couple birthdays. Uh, tomorrow's Michelle's. And then um, somebody was doing a birthday party with their grandson, I believe. And forgive me if I don't remember exactly. But you guys have a great weekend. Thank you again. And I will see you Sunday night. Good night.